Hello, this is Dr. Atul Chauhan. I am the president of the Amity Foundation and the chancellor of the Amity University. And hello, this is Karthik Malhotra. Welcome to this very exclusive cast with Dr. Atul Chauhan. Dr. Chauhan, many thanks for taking time out. When everybody is working from home, well, you seem to have a full-fledged office in your house. And that's absolutely wonderful. It ensures that there is no loss of continuity of work, of business, of education. But at a time like this, do you feel that technology is perhaps the only bridge which is keeping this whole education and the learning module alive, kicking and thriving? What we have seen is that this pandemic has sort of revolutionized the way technology is being used in education and I think in the future will be used uh, in the education system. <clears throat> One of the greatest learnings for any academic institution has been that how easy it is to integrate technology into teaching. You know, up till now, most of the teachers and faculty members, professors always had this fear that how to use technology, can we do live classes, uh, can we do recorded classes? But what we realized at Amity was that within a few days of training, we were able to bring thousands of our teachers online and uh, delivering absolutely amazing quality education to all our students. So do you think this paradigm shift in the way we are using and harnessing technology could give a fillip to a completely different style of learning and bring distance learning really to the forefront of education delivery now? Distance and online education has been there for many years. Um, as Amity, uh, we had the benefit that for the last uh, 10 years, we've been offering online degrees. Uh, we also became the first uh, university last year to be recognized by the government of India to offer full degrees online. But the main difference that has come is that how technology and online learning will be used in face-to-face -face, uh, normal bricks and mortar universities and schools. And what we have seen is that, of course, the concept of flipped classrooms has been there for many years where a small percentage of the class is taught online. The rest is taught face to face. So I right. really believe that in the future, this is what, what will happen, that uh, faculty members will design their classes so that the theory part of it, what is the real mundane, mundane learning where there's no interactivity, they will record. Students will be able to see those classes uh, online, at home, or wherever they are, and they will really come into the classrooms to have a more interactive experience with the faculty member and with their peers. So with this infrastructure cost really going down, do you feel that education, quality education, is also likely to become a little more affordable for a larger section of society, perhaps in the next couple of years? The big revolution uh, for online education in our country has been the availability and uh, the availability of low cost bandwidth we are seeing. At this point, we have over 100,000 students of Amity who are sitting across the country in, uh, in big cities, in small towns, um, learning uh, through their mobiles, through their laptops, through their computers, and, and the connectivity is working great for them. Uh, do you think technology at some level is also creating a conflict in these young impressionable minds because we are moving from a society which went after a no screen time zero screen time and here we are giving screens to our children as a mode of learning and keeping the learning continuity intact so do you see a conflict arising at some point in the minds of the children see if you look at the generation uh, which has been born in the last few years or maybe the last five years for them, screens are a part of life. You know, I, you, you talk to any parent who has a, has a four-year or five-year-old child, and if they come across a screen which, is, which they cannot touch, which they cannot swipe, they think it's broken. It is, it is just part of life. And uh, what institutions, especially universities, have to understand and realize is that one has to move with the ages because there's a whole generation of youngsters who is coming into the education field using technology for everything in their lives. And if suddenly they come into academic institutions which are not harnessing the technology, which are not utilizing it to the fullest, 
they will not accept it. They will not. They will say that uh, this is something very backward. Why should we do it? And uh, the faster that education institutions realize this, uh, the better it is. What about the senior students? So, uh, uh, I mean, there, there's bound to be pressure on them. The students who are possibly preparing for their examinations or those who have possibly just completed their examinations anticipating their results. Do you think technology-based learning at senior classes at the level of slightly more evolved students is also going to be a restriction because you are distancing the laboratory, you're distancing the art. So the theoretical learning can very well happen, but does technology have the ability to give the practical learning as well to children of the senior classes? During this pandemic, uh, many schools are holding as we are virtual labs, but we are simultaneously planning that the moment the schools reopen, we will have extensive practical and lab classes uh, for all our students, you know, and it, it is a tough time, especially for students who have boards this year. Uh, you know, one has to do a lot of studies. Um, many times, the benefit they get uh, on online learning is that it can be more personalized. In a normal classroom where, let's say, a teacher has 25 to 30 students, uh, it is very difficult for a teacher to customize their education for each child. That's but right. technology is enabling this. And especially for higher classes, it makes a big difference um, when you see this world has become so competitive that uh, let's say in the class 12th board exams, a half a percent makes a huge difference between whether you will get into a top university or a mediocre university. So there is a lot of, lot of pressure That's right. on, on these youngsters. And we have established a, a 24 by 7 uh, counseling helpline where we have uh, professional psychologists and counselors available on the telephone 24 hours a day, any student of ours, uh, whether they are feeling stress or they have a worry or they want to ask a question on how they should handle themselves or if they have relationship issues with their parents or with their friends or brothers or sisters, they can just call our counselors and just talk. And what's the kind of response that you're getting from, from that uh, helpline? Are there a lot of children who are under this stress? Are there a lot of students feeling the pressure? A lot of young people are feeling this pressure and uh, we are getting so many calls. We, uh, in the last couple of days, we have extended the number of counselors who are available at any given point of time to speak to them. Uh, because with a lockdown like this, you are confined to your homes. You know, for many people, they have, they have never done this. In the end, Humans are our social beings. You know, we, uh, we thrive. Our happiness comes from interacting with our friends, with going out and meeting people. Though in the, in the mind of a student, initially they may have been excited. Oh, we're getting in <laughs> a holiday. And uh, right. so it's not a holiday because every Amity student is doing online classes. Right. Uh, so it is school at home. But they miss their friends. They miss their teachers. They miss that interaction. They miss the fun. So what we are now developing also on online are... Uh, are social rooms where uh, where students can come together uh, and rather than doing learning and just uh, doing uh, their classes, they can come, they can play Pictionary, they can do quizzes together, play games together through technology. How exciting and I think uh, difficult times, yes. but innovative solutions, keeping the children motivated, keeping them distracted, keeping them distanced yes. and yet through technology, bridging them together. Dr. Atul Chauhan, many thanks for joining us on this wonderful cast and we look forward to having you back soon. Thank you so much.